Envy. They were two young boys, Tan and Ed, who had been friends since childhood. One day, they were invited to a party organized by a common friend. They decided that Tan would go to the Ed's home, from where they could head to the program. When Tan arrived at the Ed's house, he realized he lacked the dress code, which included a blazer. Ed lent him an old blazer that he hadn't worn for a long time and wouldn't wear as he had planned to wear a new one for the event. Initially, Tan didn't mind wearing the leftover blazer, as he thought it was just a matter of adhering to the dress code to get into the program. So Ed wore the new blazer, and they headed to the program. He believed that the new blazer made him look better and more stylish than his friend. While leaving the house, they bumped into his dad, who praised both of them. However, he specifically commended his son's friend for wearing the old blazer well. Ed carefully examined his friend's blazer, which happened to be his old, discarded one. Tan appeared smart and carried himself with confidence, making the blazer look attractive. But as he glanced at his own blazer, he felt satisfied knowing that it was new and more fashionable. He thought his father was simply being humble and praising his friend to boost his spirits. Upon arriving at the program's entrance, they encountered the organizer friend. Both of them were greeted, but the friend complimented Tan on his authentic old-school blazer. This caused Ed to seriously reconsider his choice. He began to believe that his discarded blazer was actually the superior one. From that moment on, he couldn't think of anything else except his friend's blazer. The more he looked at his friend, the more attractive it seemed. They met some old and new friends during the event, but his mind was completely consumed by the blazer he had lent to his friend. Every time he glanced around, he felt as though everyone was looking at them and their blazers, and that his old blazer was being favored over his friend's overall appearance. At first, he believed he was misinterpreting the situation, but human nature and instinct drove him towards envy of his friend. Ultimately, he decided to retrieve the old blazer, but couldn't bring himself to ask his friend for it directly. Thus, he began devising a plan to switch the blazers without being mean-spirited. As a result, he insisted that his friend drink several shots of whiskey, eventually getting him drunk. Then, he persuaded him to join him on the dance floor. Amidst the crowd, he took off his blazer, threw it up in the air, and repeatedly encouraged his friend to do the same until he complied. Swiftly, he caught the old blazer and exchanged it with his friend's new one. He wore the old blazer while leaving the new one with his friend, who appeared confused by his actions. However, being close friends, his friend took it in stride, wore the new blazer without further thoughts, and continued dancing for a few more minutes before heading to the bar. Observing that his friend had no objections or concerns, Ed now relished wearing what he believed to be the superior blazer, feeling a great sense of pride. At the bar, they stood together and ordered two more drinks. They could still see the entire dance floor, where many others were still dancing. It was there that they encountered a beautiful girl who had noticed them dancing earlier. She introduced herself and praised Tan for being such a skilled dancer and for his new blazer. He simply thanked her, and they continued their conversation. Meanwhile, Ed's mind was consumed with thoughts of his friend's blazer, no longer caring about the girl or the conversation they were having. He ordered more shots of tequila, paid for them, and dragged his friend to their table, insisting that they drink them. Then, he convinced his friend to join him for one final dance. 
with the expectation of returning to their previous arrangement and exchanging the blazers once more. Thank you for the views. Please support with a like and subscription.